What's up, Porsche fanatics? Will here with Renthusiast, my YouTube channel centering on air-cooled Porsche 911 ownership experience, and I'm coming to you from my 92 964 C2. I am currently en route to having some work done on this car. I'm also going to be doing some work to my 924 Safari, so if you're watching this video and you're looking for a little bit of Porsche variety, I got good news for you because that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be doing a little bit of work to this 964. I need to have the stereo buttoned up. There's some issues with the Continental head unit and the harness. And then also we're going to be making some headway on the 924 Safari specifically with getting some line X sprayed inside of the car and some other odds and ends. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. I cover all things air-cooled portion. Every now and then I'll cover some water-cooled stuff too. Uh, so if that's your thing, definitely subscribe. I'd also like to invite you to check out my Facebook group, group excuse me, Renthusiast Air Cool Porsche fan. So let me knock out the rest of this drive here, and I'm going to pick you up once we arrive. All right, so we're just going to yank out the faulty head unit, right? Yank out the faulty head unit, repackage it, and send it to Amazon. And so for whatever reason, this knob is not turning freely. It's got too much resistance on it. Look at that. It's like I had tools for it. All right, now I gotta unwind this magical mystery harness thing. Which is huge, but uh, I just wanna plug it all in and make sure it works before we get too So would you say crazy. stereo installation is probably like your favorite? Oh, type dude, of I, I mean, I, I long to uh, open a stereo shop. Let's do some tent, too. I mean, hell, we're going to do some rap. We're going to do some rap, dude. I mean, we're ready to, ready to party. I'm telling you, you just need, like, like a four-foot bong and some loud music. Do we have to get back under the seat? I no. hope not. That was, that was a bit of a bitch. I didn't no, really want to. It is always something. So we, you know, went through the process of pulling the head unit out and plugging the new one into the new harness and the speakers still are not working. So the symptom here is I've got the speakers on the right side of the car, the front and the, and the rear speaker on the right side of the car work. The other two do not. And now it looks like the factory amp is bad. So of course we're gonna have to source another harness and I think we're gonna circumvent the amp. And it's like, all I'm trying to do is get tunes out of all four speakers. But you know, it just goes to show, man, it's always something with these cars. I guess the original factory amp and the original speakers and all that stuff, the head unit was just shot. And so it's time to replace. And so replace it, we will. So disappointing, but it is what it is. Okay, we failed with the um, stereo repair project, so we're moving on to the 924 now. The idea is to clean the inside of this out so that it is ready to receive some Line X. So we decided to use Line X, AKA truck bed liner for the interior in place of carpet. It's gonna allow us to clean it out very, very easily. It's also a pretty inexpensive solution to the problem of how to insulate the floors. So this is where we are. I'm gonna have to mask off the areas we don't want hit with the line X, and I gotta get this stuff out of here too. There's a remnant of the beautiful original carpet there. So, so guys, I mean, this is the the cockpit here, as it were. And so, you know, I'm I'm recording this as much for the sake of posterity as I am because I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will be badass. Because it'll certainly be different. <laughs> Budget built it is too. Shifter as well. Fully prepped. I mean, that's a work of art. Hey, check out the shifter slot I got rid of. I made some custom <laughs> shit for it. <laughs> yeah, it's like it doesn't have all the sloppy sloppy in it now. Man, I mean, that's as good as a fister. It's probably as good. <laughs> I don't know about a lot. Don't get too carried away. Right? <laughs> Look at this. Tell me that's not amazing work.
looks super cool with the rack on there. That's it. And that is it for the day. We have, <laughs> we have gotten the first layer of Linex in there. I mean, and it did clean it up. As you can see, it's whiter. It looks fresh, I guess. We've mocked this up here. We also had the lights on the bumper up front. I'll put a picture of that up there. We took them down. So yeah, the project continues to unfold. We have some spectator, a spectator back there. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap.